Hey, this tutorial is all about uh, starting a new poster in Corel Draw XT. So what I'm going to explain now is how do we create a title bar for your poster. Okay. The first thing you have to do is you have to change the custom size. So since we're doing a poster 36 by 48, so we'll make sure this is 36 and this is 48. Okay. And just give you a shortcut key here, F3, is to zoom out. So F3, and then of course you can always use. Uh, I'll just delete this guideline here, this one here, to zoom window. Now, okay. Now, I, I typed in a text here. Okay, the title will be "Making a Poster in Corel Draw X3." Now I want to make a a title bar. Okay, so that's my heading here and uh, I'll just move this over here okay now the question is here I'm not really sure if this one is centered vertically with the page okay. in order to do that you click on the the box and you go to arrange align and distribute click on center to page vertically okay now I'm pretty sure that the distance here is the same as the distance there then I'll put this one inside. I'll adjust the size, and I'll just adjust the font size too. I mean the fonts. Okay, let's say I'm making that one. Making a poster in Corel Draw X3. Now, now another shortcut is: what if I want this one to be centered to the box? Okay, I click on the text itself, and then and then hold Shift and then select the box and here's a shortcut if I type in C on my keyboard it's going to make it centered to the box uh, vertically type in C okay but make sure to choose the text first before the box okay so now I know that's centered I'll just make a, a little bit of adjustment there okay now okay I've got the box here now let's say I'm gonna color it uh, I'll say blue okay maybe lighter okay now how what happened to my text the text is underneath this box here so what I'm going to do is to click on the title bar and go to arrange I'm gonna change the order I'll make the box to back of the page there you go now if you notice there's a thin outline in my poster, a black thin outline. So what I'm going to do is to remove the outline by going to your outline tool and just click on the X button which is the no uh, no outline. Okay. Now I'll make making a poster to be yellow. Let's try yellow. Okay, that looks fine. Now if I want to make outline on my text I'll just go to the outline tool here go to the first option and then I'll say 16 points I'll say make it dark blue the color of the outline and this one's important click on behind fill I'll just show you the difference if I won't click on behind fill and click OK here that's what's gonna happen right because the outline goes inside the text but if you click again, you click on behind fill, that's what we're getting. So that looks good. So F4, click on F4 to zoom out. Now I want to get more fancy here. So I click on the text, which is yellow fill and blue outline. I'm going to my fill tool. I'll go to my fountain, fountain fill. I'm going to make a gradation here. Here, I can always make that 90 degrees so the gradient goes up. And say, for example, I want it going to orange. I click OK. Okay. And zoom out. Uh, that seems good to me. Yeah. So I'm fine there. Hit F4 again. 
now uh, actually I want to change the gradient fill from orange so I'll just make this zero degrees no not zero but 180 degree oh, 270 270 there you go so it's from orange going up to yellow okay so I'm happy with this now now let's go more fancier I'll make a hard drop shadow on this one so I click on the text go to edit and copy sorry no uh, edit and then duplicate now I have two put this one down I'll make it the fill to be black and then I'll go to the outline tool too go to the first outline pen dialog and make that black now I have a black uh, text and an outline of the of the title. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to move it here. Right. Now the only thing I have to do is to put the first text, the color text, in front. So what I'm going to do is to click on the text. You would know that it's gonna. It's I'm selecting the right text is when you go to this property bar here and it says orange fill and then the, the outline green so I go to arrange order and put to front of page there you go and I'll just zoom out there looks good now then you can add more effects or say this one uh, I want this to have a gradient color too so I want to go to my fill option and click on the fountain fill Okay, I'll make this 90 degrees. Click OK. Yeah. So something like that. So right now I have a title bar. Then you can add more text over that. Zoom in. There you go. 